what's going on guys welcome to the channel today I want to share with you guys how to make an automatic feeder out of a trash bin like this to for your quail or the chicken so and you see here this is my quail cage and there's an automatic feeder right there the quail is using it right now so let's begin so this automatic feeder is working out really well um, it's really efficient and have a very little mess uh, even though it doesn't matter how you try to make this thing the quail will always make mess and it's always food wasted but this uh, make it less waste of your food right here and as you see down here there's like um, crumbs will drop down as well because they will pick their head and food will fly out all right so let's talk about supply so what you're going to need is like a trash bin like this or a container so i'm moving into like a, this big container right here because i have um, a bunch of quail and i don't want to continue to fill up the food like every day so right now they kind of go through like a trash can then there's like 1.5 gallon um they go through there like a day and a half so i'm moving it to a bigger container so basically um what you need is a water automatic chicken water and feeder kit um, so I bought this online on Amazon and it comes with six of this uh, this thing and this thing is like basically you make a hole in the bucket like this and then you put it in and the top has a cover of it so preventing the food to spilling out from this socket hole right here and also you can you will have a cap like this as well to cap this in if you don't want to use this uh, this hole you make a mistake on it right and then it come with this water feeder right here and for the feeder it come with a uh, six set of this and the kit come with this whole cutting socket as well right and a drill bit for the water nozzle nipple right here that fit perfectly so you can just get a bucket and then drill it in and then slide it in and then tie it up and there's a screw on this in the back as well right which is right here so you can like basically tighten this on this end to hold it onto the bucket all right so that's pretty much the kit so to start to do this so this whole time i wasn't recording and i, I did all this without recording it but it's okay we still have this side to do and I will do show you guys on that side. Now what I want to do is just make a drill on this up right here. So do it slowly. Uh, don't do it fast, or right? you're gonna break it because plastic, this kind of plastic is brittle and easy to break. So again, uh, make sure the bottom is like around like half an inch, depend on how how your container is i would do like half an inch or an inch max there you go and this thing comes up again slide in and slide the ring kind of over and then just you can hold the ring and then twist the outside whichever you like or you can twist the ring or I guess twisting the outside is easier and then adjust it So, there it is. I want to show you guys how to put a guard into this. So basically right here, this piece, um, you want to take this and then cut it out. So like roughly around like an inch or half an inch, 
Just cut it off. So, and then that's it to see if it fit. All right, so now you gotta cut the inside so it will fit. Like, cut the edge a little bit. Just kind of put it in. Usually, like if you turn it upside down, it's easy to fit it in right here. See, don't look like that. All right, it's just still a little bit tall, so I like to do like either close to half an inch. So I'm just going to tip it up a little bit. Some more. And I put it like that right there. Perfect fit. And what you want to do is like you don't want to uh, glue like all the way against this edge. Like just move in a little bit, like a few centimeters, like so, like that. All right? And you put like this on top of it. So just make sure you get the side right because once you put it in, um, you cannot adjust it. All right? So now, you're gonna need like a plastic glue gun like this, the hot gun. All right, so once the glue gun is hot, you just kind of like start put the plastic on all in on this edge of this guard right here. All right, like so, and be careful with it because it's hot. All right, so turn this thing upside down and just slide it in where you want it to be, right there and it will pretty much stay still all right here's the back okay so now it's holding still a little bit now you want to go back with the hot glue gun again and then fill up the whole gap and be generous about it don't be stingy because you don't want the bird to knock it off like that All right and then you can put some a little bit of beads in the back as well to hold it in that's it you're done <sighs> give it a little let it settle let it cool down All right well, there it is. That's the final one. So that's what it looked like. Three socket, thick socket. So one on each side. Just pour the feet in. So there it is. An automatic feeder, quick and easy. And that is the socket for the food. So they poke their head in here and pack on it. That's it. Alright guys, so there it is. That's how I make my automatic feeder for my quail. So if you guys enjoy this video or learn something, make sure to hit the like and share the video and hit that subscribe button. And also, I would love to hear your thoughts. So put a comment down below and I will see you guys later.